first. It seems to be more of a government. And then the man steps forward who Satan will indwell, and then Satan kind of pulls off a coup, and he says, enough's enough. I don't want to hear about, you're all gods, I am God. There is no none other. And then, you know, the, the massacre begins. And yeah, because it doesn't make sense. The, the New Age movement, we're all gods. Yeah. <laughs> and then Satan comes and said, you have to worship just me as God. Yeah, otherwise you get your head taken off. Yeah, so that's kind of a big conflict in, in their own theology. Well, the, it's going to be sort of pie in the sky for a little while, you know, with the, the Babylon. Babylon will rise, and then we're going to see mysticism and witchcraft and a whole different uh, thing. And then uh, everybody be going around claiming, you know, a uh, false Christ, saying that, that I am the Christ. And everybody be self-deluded. But then Satan enters into the, uh, the the son of perdition, who has been killed somehow and wounded by a sword, and he's going to come back. And that's it. Party time's over. Now he's going to just put an end. To, like there's no more. Yeah, you know, I'm God, you're God, and Shirley MacLaine, I'm going to have her head on a platter. <laughs> and she's still out on a limb 20 years later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I find it interesting that, that you know, they, they head to Brazil, all these New Agers, because there's a lot of New Age retreats out that way. And from what I know about Brazil is that it's, it's holding one of the largest alien bases in the entire world in their mountains. It's the Galactic Federation itself has an Earth base in the Brazilian mountains. And one day they're going to open up and they're just going to present themselves to the world. Now you've met, you, you, you mentioned new alliances. Hmm. And I want to get your take on this because in, in Revelation where it talks about the ten horns uh, that the Antichrist has, he, he has... Uh, the, yeah, the Merovingian Empire. Yeah. Now, a lot of people uh, interpret this, and this is usual church church theology, and, and, and they, they interpret the entire passages of, of Revelation 13, 17, and 18 to be the EU, the European Union. Oh, no, it, it's a world empire. It goes far beyond just the... the uh, I think, was, well, the British will be sort of more in control. Uh, they will be a puppet government uh, until, uh, the Bible talks about the Antichrist is the one from Assyria. It says the Assyrian. And I've always wondered about that. Yeah, the, the Damascus, Syria Antichrist? Yeah. The, Gene the, Dixon? Yeah, the, the, he will come uh, from, from Assyria and, and not, uh, there seems to be, from what I gather, is a direct opposition to the Merovingian Empire. And I kind of put that down to um, uh, the order of the dragon uh, taking vengeance for 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 once and using uh, the Middle East to uh, pretty well annihilate the British Empire and to to take over and to yes, the- I don't think they're going to be here either. Everybody keeps going on and on and on about the he- EU. Is it going to be the last days Babylon? And I just have no umption, no feeling at all that they're even going to be here. We've got comets uh, coming that will hit the Atlantic. If it hits the Atlantic, the U.K. is gone. If we even have so much as a slight pole shift, they're the new North Pole. I have just never felt that they're going to be here. And here the Queen has bought up thousands of acres of land in Colorado. Oh, really? So they can relocate. They've got that city underneath Denver, underneath the Denver airport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so it seems to me that even these high-level occultists know that there's going to be trouble coming uh, to the European nations. Because so they're yeah. ready to relocate them. Relo- yeah, I think, uh, see, a lot of prophecies controlled by, by the, the, the Illuminati. Yeah, and yeah. I just don't have a feeling at all that they're going to be here. I don't hang my hat on anything. I just sit and analyze everything. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't hang my hat on anything. I, I, I do with the here and now scenarios. To me, if you know, I look at the here and now. If it was going to happen today, next week, next month, this is what would happen. Uh, but we know that down the road things change. Very much so. And, I mean, their plans can change, too. Yeah, they don't know what's going on. The Lord's told me they're always in derision. They don't even know what's going on. No, and they don't know who the Antichrist is. 
They don't want to be the Antichrist. <laughs> they don't want to be him, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Prince Charles is an Antichrist wannabe. He's a wannabe, but you know what? I've always seen Prince Harry as a stronger candidate than him if it came down to the EU being uh, where the Antichrist rose out of. Yeah, what, what about Prince William? Well, you know what? It's always, you know, well, no, it hasn't been him. It's been Harry. Hmm. Harry was dominant. And, and so William uh, was detailed as his brother, Charles as his father. Uh, but Harry is the one that still carried a huge grudge uh, against his mother's death. He wanted revenge. Mm. Uh, and, it, and he has a huge mantle uh, to be a candidate. And, and what I when I talk about is candidates, because there's many of them. There's not just one. Uh, he's, he's a huge candidate. And they always had some kind of uh, uh, myth with Alexander the Great. And when Alexander the Great rose to power, he was 23 years old. Mm. And that's exactly how old Prince Harry will be in 2007, mm. uh, a, a dominant year that people think the Antichrist will rise. Mm. I know the X-Files um, depicted Prince William as the one being the one because uh, Scully's baby at the end, his name being you know, William, and, oh, having, yeah. Yeah. and having all kinds of occultic powers associated with him as just a baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the, so the Masons the Masons were tipping their hat to the X Files that it was Harry, or not Harry, that it was William. Uh, and we know Prince Charles has wanted it for a long time. I've heard that they've got him blackballed, uh, blackmailed, and that if he tries to step forward, that they'll bring out the fact that he has fake bloodline. Because right now, the only ones that have legitimate blood from Princess Diana are William and Harry. Yeah, and and they fired a few shots. Uh warning shots at him um you know they've talked about the, the they brought up the affair with the butler i think it was or and like basically he's he's uh, uh you know bisexual and that can be exploited at any moment of any time and he knows well they that. all are is the thing yeah. they all are and i see bush had a couple of warning shots too where guys made <laughs> and you know, strangely enough, the grenade didn't go off. And, yeah, um, they, they've got their, their blackmail against everybody. Oh, they're, they're all, all pedophiles. Each other. They're, they're all bisexuals. They can pull anything vul- out of a hat with a video. Yeah, they're all vultures on the corpse trying to get a piece of the action. Yeah. And, and, and you know, the, people think that Satan's still organized. It's not. Like, you have the Rockefellers. They're... And the, the Rothschilds, they're always having turf wars. There's always assassination attempts. Well, there are and two different factions of the New World Order. The Rothschilds run one, and the Rockefeller, Rockefellers want to run another. Yeah, and the, 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 the Rockefellers want the whole pie. Yeah, and so do the Rothschilds. <laughs> you know, the Rothschilds created them. Now the, the, the Rockefellers want the whole pie. Yeah, and then you've got Bill Clinton who jumps back and forth between both of them. He can't decide which faction he wants to be in one day to the next. Yeah, and there's another example, uh, uh, like, uh, of non-humans is look at the, and, and, and Hollywood is look at the Simpsons. What is it? They had, uh, Clinton and, uh, oh, what's his name? The guy with, the uh, Dole. And they, they were actually, uh, they were on the show in the Simpsons, but they were actually aliens. <laughs> disguised as humans. <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh, I mean, I wish I recorded it. <laughs> well, well, they've been having a love fest for the past year here uh, with Clinton and George Bush Sr. parading all over the place together. Well, I know. And yeah, I don't know what's up with that. And did you see the <laughs> I, I thought it was something to drum up support for Hillary's campaign in 2008. Oh, yeah, that's what it boils down. <laughs> <laughs> but did you see the interview on Larry King with uh, Bush Sr. and... Uh, uh, his wife, what's her name? Oh, um, her mom, mother, uh... Barbara, Barbara. Yeah, Barbara. I've never seen eyes blacker than that in my whole entire life. Oh, she she runs the roost. Oh, she... She yeah. runs the roost. She is the power in that dynasty. I I have noticed that, 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 that there are people out there, and I have some examples on my website, that their eyes do not reflect light. And they absorb it. And so what you're talking, yeah, because you got Lisa Marie Presley on